Welcome, welcome to CineQuest Video. Okay, hello there, and welcome to CineQuest Video, the trauma Hi. edition. Today we discuss one of Trauma Entertainment's, is it, I guess, most highly regarded ones, right? Yeah, is I think it? so, man. There, there's a, uh, I think like a 20th or 25th anniversary edition. I was actually going to buy it. <laughs> I ordered it. Well, I ordered it for this. Uh, I didn't realize it was on like Amazon Prime. So I ordered the, yeah. and I actually ordered the Blu-ray guys, right? Oh, now. wow. <laughs> gotta get that awesome that tran- I got to get that awesome transfer, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that this is probably their, cheap, I would right? say, their, if you want to call it Magnum Opus. Wow. Okay. <laughs> really? Good God. <laughs> hey, well, they got a, the you know the Gun Brothers in here, so that's you know. true. <laughs> yeah, Ray was mentioning that. I was just like, what? So do do we have them to thank for all the fucking like bastardized Shakespeare or something? Or? Well, uh, I was asking Ray, I was like, do you think uh, fucking Disney would have like, you know, had had uh, what's the what's the brother's name? The ones in Guardians of the Galaxy. James Sean Gunn? is it Sean? I think it's James, Shanga. I yeah, Shanga. I wonder if they would have like had right, him in all whatever. those movies if they knew he was in this one. Maybe they so, had him in this well, movie. Maybe, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, James Gunn did write Guardians of the Galaxy. So oh, that's true. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So wait, does he actually like star in the movie? And- yeah. Sean, Sean Gunn is the. Um, oh, what was his name, dude? Like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna be right on, here. On, he, he's, he's one of the Capulets. Uh, he has, he has like one. the guy that has like the little ponytails. Jo- the, the, uh, the, Georgie. Georgie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm no, Georgie's the girl, the sister, uh, the sister of Georgie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold on. Uh, he's Sammy. Yeah. Holy okay. fuck. That's that's right. He's Sammy. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Yep. Does that does that I've, make you uh, look at this Jesus movie in a different Christ. light, Roland? Knowing that <laughs> no, that's from no. Him? Actually, like I thought his character his character made me laugh because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. But like I'm just thinking of him because I mean he was uh, like he has a, his bit roles in the. In his brother's movie yeah. or whatever, yeah, and yeah. like he actually plays a cool, a pretty funny character. Well, he's like the new Yondu character, yeah, writer. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I just, I, I just remember his lines from the first uh, Guardians: where, "Captain's got to teach stuff," you know, like. <laughs> <same>. <laughs> Buddy shit. Roland, before we continue, let me, um, yeah, let me just make sure we introduce everyone, and um, oh, because. It's been a while. We still got to do that shit? Well, yeah, of course we do. Uh, you just introduced we me have, so you can We do me. have back. It's been a while. So I think it was uh, mm-hmm. Class of Newcomb High, right? That was the last one. That yeah, was the man. last one. Bryce had been with us. It's the trash oh. cinema connoisseur joining us. Bryce. <laughs> yeah, nice. that's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> just and we also have... Um, Revel in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, our... I want to say... Someone, I gave, I gave everyone like a, like a sort yeah. of title. Bryce, you're our no. trash... Cinema Christ. connoisseur, uh, Roland, you're our trash cinema casualty. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm the rage. trash cinema enthusiast. Oh, okay. I, I'm a fucking you know, casualty. The ring, the ring master or some shit. Like of uh, this one, I can't yeah. say that for sure. I can't say that truthfully, mm. right? Because I mean, I'm I'm new to these movies as well. So I mean, not all of them, but I know about Trauma in theory. I haven't seen a lot of their movies though, but they are. Um, well, I mean, you know, they only had. What was it? the biggest one? Was Toxic Avenger? Like that was the one that got most yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and most people have probably seen that because just because you know. But um, it was awesome. Uh, I mean, Casualty well, sounds better than Bystander, so I guess I'll go with that. <laughs> you know, I should probably say Trash Cinema Bystander. Yeah. That is a good one. <laughs> well, I mean, even I'll, I'll, I'll save that one for Daniel, the Trash Cinema mm-hmm. Bystander. Yeah, whenever he does join us, unfortunately, <laughs> Daniel is uh, working at this particular time, and we yeah. uh, he couldn't join us. But uh, I'm sure he'll be with us in the next round. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Um, we'll continuing see. on, uh, we are on to Tromeo and Juliet. All right, mm-hmm. um, this is uh, again a movie that was written by none other than Guardians of the Galaxy himself, James Gunn, and also starring one of yep. his brothers, uh, Sean Gunn, mm-hmm. also who came out also came out in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. And this was mm-hmm. uh, this was co-written by James Gunn and Lloyd Kaufman, which yep. is the uh, right. head of. Trauma Entertainment. So Gunn was the associate was the associate director. Well, they, they yeah they they uh he he gave his pointers to Lloyd Kaufman on how he wanted the movie to to go, mm-hmm. and looking at the final result, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy that did uh, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Yeah. Remember that? Well, very, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy got all the inspiration from you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. And this is a, a movie based loosely on Romeo and Juliet, which was obviously written by 
William Shakespeare, so allegedly. Twice. So bastardization yeah. would probably be... There's other, the other thing, too, is there's other lines from other Shakespeare plays. Uh, yeah. Like he, um, with the, the dad, he does a line from Henry IV. Mm-hmm. And doesn't he say that in the Yeah, end? he has to mention uh, it, too. He, like, he's, he's like, always... <laughs> Oh, what was it? Uh, he had a few. I, I I didn't write them down because I was just like, oh, you know, well, so like at that point I was like, oh, some of the lines, the 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 dialogue. I, I wonder if it's also like from other Shakespeare plays, or I, I was trying to look it up because there's one part where Tromeo he's talking to his dad, yeah, uh, Monty Q, and he's telling him like, uh, he's like, they're gonna rob us blind if we have any sight left to steal or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's actually a pretty like clever line. I was like, I wonder is that a Shakespeare thing? But I couldn't find it, but. I don't know. Maybe man, that's just the James Gunn original. Maybe it's James Gunn original. I don't know, man. <laughs> God. Uh, um, I, I would yeah. like to point out just a little bit of a trivia. This was released uh, February 28th, uh, 1997. Really? Oh, February 28th, 1997. That late? It had a budget of $350,000. The highest budget that <laughs> Trump has ever seen. <laughs> mm. um, they spent all of that on getting their narrator, Lemmy, from that's Motorhead. That's right, man. Uh, House of Motorhead. House of Motorhead, that's sorry. What on there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, I, when I started the movie and he's the first person I see, I was like, yeah. fuck, yeah, what? they got Lemmy in yeah. here? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like, like oh, they're reciting I, Shakespeare, I, was, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, there's their budget. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, man. But I like how uh, there's some parts of the movies where, uh, you know, I was watching it with like closed captioning and shit. And uh, yeah. there's parts of the movies where it's like, it doesn't even like, it's like unaudible, inaudible. Like it can't yeah, even like um, pick up what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. But you can, you can understand it. Well, like, yeah, you can. But was... the, yeah, I think it's the second appearance he has. And it's like, it just says like inaudible or something. But you can understand <laughs> yeah. what he's saying, but I guess the fucking closed captions can't. <laughs> no, like whoever wrote that shit just fucked it up. Yeah. Past. I, I got to ask you guys a question. Do you think anyone watching this movie has to have some sort of a generalistic background of Romeo and Julia to understand most uh, of what's going on in this movie? I mean, mm. maybe like a vague or a casual understanding of it because like these these guys do a lot of allusions to just really well like obvious fucking quotes from there you know when they're well like pick a fucking scene basically it's the second fucking tromeo meets juliet like they won't shut the fuck up about this <laughs> crap you know yeah. wherefore there yeah. are well, hold on let me actually the one of the ones that i did write down was when tromeo finds juliet in that sex box or whatever <laughs> mm-hmm Hey, hold on. I got to fucking find it. And I'm going to make a little comment about that scene. Um, that that I was watching that, and that sex scene goes on for a long, oh, long yeah. time. What oh. light from yonder plexiglass breaks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a right-angled cosmos. And I put it like after that sex box. And Juliet is its son. Yeah. Oh, all right. Fuck um, <laughs> um one thing I did notice about this movie that there are there's a lot of nudity oh, in yeah. this movie, like an insane amount of nudity. One thing you mean the the main the only thing there's I think a you, lot were, of tits, you were yeah. you met you were yeah that's what you said you messaged me the other night. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I said it was like eleven or twelve or something, and yeah, you were yeah, like, yeah. "Yeah, this movie's got a lot of tits in it." Oh yeah, yeah, it was a ten. It was almost at eleven when you texted me. <laughs> I was like, okay, well. I, I think I, tested, I texted Bryce, too, like around that time regarding this movie. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, it starts off with tits, yeah. Uh, you me- you messaged me, actually, Ray, about the fucking... The, I just got to the monster cock scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was fucking hilarious, yeah. but I was just like... I was expecting more, you know? Like, because this is a Tromeo film. I thought that, like, the dick was going to explode yeah. or, like, talk. You know, so, uh, like, looking... Well, laughed, but it had, like, a... <laughs> kind of, like, Look, looking right, at that, I, the monster cock... Um, it actually looks like Freddy Krueger in uh, Dream Warriors. <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, when he comes out like a fucking I, worm and shit. You think they just borrowed the prop from that? Well, they just like, yeah, they <laughs> shrunk it down a little bit and like <laughs> made it into an, an average size monster cock. So like, what is it? What is that quote? Is it the fly or I forget what? But like, I, like when I saw that thing, the first thing I thought was kill me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like always. It's like, oh, it's it's uh, what's the name of the guy from uh, what's the name of the mutant from um, Total Recall? Uh, Aguado Aguado. or Aguado. 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 Yeah. Aguado. Yeah. Like, he just fucking Open like whips out those weird little T Rex <laughs> <Yeah>. arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that was fucking weird. Like I thought 
I thought I was watching some kind of like fucking uh, art film reject uh, like scene or whatever, and I was like, wait, this is probably a dream scene. Like, yeah, oh, she's yeah, in like the fucking uh, inflatable pool, the kitty, the inflatable kitty yeah. pool, yeah. In, indoors. <laughs> is, um, I don't know if there's any other movies other than these two I'm about to mention, but uh, it seems like they do a lot of dream sequences. Because in Class of Newcomb mm-hmm. High, it was the same thing. Guy had a like fucking monster cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was all yeah. But I mean, in this but, one, I mean, like it was they, more they of had a, a lot burden. of drugs. It was in more this what? one, like, this one seemed the monster cock seemed like more of a burden. And then yeah, that one, the other one, one he's like he smiling. Was, he's like, yeah. he's like totally late into it. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, I don't know. True. Actually, man, the guy that in that scene where he's got, he, he looks like he's fucking having an orgasm. He's like, he's like got his head tilted back. He's like, Ooh. He's like I don't know. Man. There's only like two dream scenes, isn't there? In this one, this the the first one where she like you know gets sees the like giant mutant cock or whatever with a yeah. face <laughs> and then the other one where it's like tromeo is in her bedroom yeah and, she gets and pregnant. like mm-hmm. yeah she gets pregnant and like her her belly busts like pop popcorn. like a bag of popcorn and then rats yep and then rats and then maggots <laughs> <laughs> oh there was maggots i just remember the rats well there the was popcorn. rats and then like um at some point i think he takes out all the rats and yeah, then you see the popcorn and underneath it there's like a bunch of maggots and shit and the thing is uh, they still show him eating, the, eating the fucking popcorn, popcorn. Yeah. and I was yeah, like yeah, oh man that's so fucking and, gross and then I thought he ate the rat I'm not sure no, no he, he was like petting it like look look at it look. Oh, yeah? it's so great okay. look at it hold on I want to see you know I was I was kind of curious as to what, why, what is with like these dream guy? sequences with like dicks and pregnancy I don't know because it was the same thing in oh, Newcomb High yeah. the chick was pregnant yeah I mean, because we didn't see any of that in Surf Ninjas like Must Die. Fucking, it's fucking probably some <laughs> Sigmund Freud bullshit. Yeah, you know, it's, everything's it's, yeah, about penises kind of, and buttholes and yeah, and it's like, a little ham-fisted like analogies or metaphors, but uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, it is absolutely talking oh. about like some of the characters, the, the parents. Um, Romeo's dad is black. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, obviously, they, Montague, Montague, yeah. Montague, which Q, yeah, nobody says Montague. like until was it the end of the movie? The end of the movie, like, they reveal, In case yeah. you haven't noticed, son, like I'm fucking black, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and then he's like, oh wow, like I, you know, like now that you mention it, I'm like you fucking <laughs> idiot, like really. <laughs> uh, um, did any of you guys like see that ending coming like a mile away though? Uh, I, I, I I saw it and uh, like the second you know uh, Sammy. Oh, no, not Sammy. It's um fucking Murray, right? Like he's in um the the Capulet's house, like l- l- rifling through their shit. You know, when he's talking about it, like, ha, I'm taking your stuff, and he pulls out that picture of uh, Tromeo's mom and uh, or not mom, but at the time you don't know that, but like the dad and then uh, Capulet's wife and that mm-hmm. kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was like, okay, it's obviously not Juliet. <laughs> because like they wouldn't they wouldn't put that shit like why would they put that in a drawer hiding somewhere you know like that's dumb. yeah yeah uh and so and then before then they had that like one segment where they mentioned like oh yeah i shouldn't even be telling you this you know like we're not going to talk about tromeo's mom like just you know like he had one and that's it you know it's like what <laughs> yeah okay, fuck you like that's too like heavy-handed bullshit or whatever like i'll just put that de- put a pin in that little fucking detail but like I'd never seen this movie before. I don't. I don't think I'd heard about it before. But like, like in the end, you know, I was because I was expecting. Okay, are they gonna do the Romeo and Juliet? Like they're both die. Oh no. Oh okay. So where's the hook? You know. And then the mom comes out and she's like, yeah. I, I need to tell you this. And I was like, they're fucking brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, a lot of incest in this movie too because yeah, uh, Georgie like, and was it Sammy? You said right. That's the yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He wants to fuck her and everything. And it's like well, I like yeah. the scene where he's like, oh, well. He's like your your tits are more pear shaped than my sister's, but uh. you're right. But you'll do. <laughs> yeah, you'll like, do. Yeah. yeah, and the the name of that chick was Peter. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like so that movie it starts off right there in that club, and everybody's like swaying to I don't know what the fuck like. At one point later on, they were swaying to metal Motorhead, and I was like, yeah, oh, you heard, I heard not... Motorhead too. Yeah, that's, that's and kinda so, funny. but but in the beginning, like they were swaying to some other like I don't know if it was goth music or some shit. But I, like the first yeah, thing I thought like was a, like, like a, a Nine Inch Nails knockoff type thing or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was funny because like the well to me like the first thing I thought I was like these motherfuckers are on crystal meth. Yeah, and, you like, know? and then like yeah. you know you have the scene where Sammy walks up to his sister, 
uh, and is like, uh, I've got some crystal meth in my underwear. Like, <laughs> yeah. We could we could go to the bathroom and like smoke it or whatever the fuck he said. And I was just like, oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> um, yeah. What did he say? Um, Yo, you're right. Yeah. Like, he's like, I got some crystal with my underwear. And he grabs his sister's hand and puts it down his pants. He's like, maybe you'll get lucky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then it's like, it's the way of the world. Everything's in style. Like, yeah. You throw, you throw yeah he's, like, we got, he's like, we got headbangers. We got meth addicts. Like, we just got throw a little incest. Yeah. We got to throw a little bit of a incest, throw a little incest in, the in there. And the world will be like one great big hug or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I had to write that shit down. I was like, oh. The rise of the brother uncles and the cousin sisters. <laughs> Fucking fuck. Like, uh, we're, we're actually like kind of like watching this on my phone here, Roland. And right now we're at the scene where uh, Juliet is uh, making kind out of with the making cook. out with the, making out the with nanny. The, the, oh, so so is the, the cook. nanny She's or a cook? Or? cook. Or? Yeah. So and like, I, I think Ro- Romeo, Tromeo is fucking uh, jerking like jerking off to that weird fucking porn. Interact, oh, interact, like interactive, like old nineties yeah. interactive porn. The CD ROM. Yeah, CD ROM. <laughs> and they all have they all have uh, Shakespeare. They're all titled right. after Shakespeare's like plays and stuff. Like oh, as you lick uh, it. <laughs> much to do about yeah. humping. <laughs> yeah, at two blowjobs. Yeah, at two blowjobs. <laughs> But uh, I, I like how uh, when, when he's yeah, much <laughs> but like how when he's watching it, and then it's like uh, if you like um, piss or need, or if you like drinking piss and if you shit, like, like piss and shit, but then he's yeah. like, if That's you okay. like young, if you like young girls, and it's like a, eh, like a baby noise in the background, like what? Yeah. The <laughs> right? What did he? Oh, what did he say? Oh, you chose true love. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's like, like I love you. I love you. And he's like jerking like, off. Like, That's his thing. Like, him off. He's like profusely sweating. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> The fucking astral glide. <laughs> like fucking thick ass. You like to get married? Yeah. Married, you can see my bosom. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I will suckle many of our children on these or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you yeah. too. So fucking weird. Yeah. Oh um, my god. <laughs> what is it? So like, yeah, when he was looking through all those video, uh, the CD-ROMs, like he also had a stack of VHS tapes, and they were all trauma. They're all trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was telling uh, Bryce. Yeah, um, like, all yeah, of the, the all of the posters and yeah, uh, even like at the party the at Avenger some point, posters. the Toxic Avenger guys like there. Well, uh, yeah, right. Well, I, I, was I, say I, that. I'm guessing Cappy like, Capulet is supposed to be like Lloyd Kaufman or something because he has well, like all the movies that he's produced are trauma movies or like the movies they show him. And this movie, this scene here where he's editing the movie, uh, and there's like they're feeding like a, a belly button, like a mouth or something. I don't know. I was like, is that a fucking trauma movie? But I think yeah, I think they're all I trauma it was. movies. Yeah, um, and they're, but they're all like pretty much pornos see. too. Yeah, oh for, oh for sure, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's stuck on um, you. I've seen that one. That's like Trauma was trying to do like a kind of a romantic comedy thing with that one. That one's like raunchy as shit too. But they're all like that. But I would say yeah. like they're not even trying to be subtle about any of that. All the Trauma shit is just everywhere in this. No, movie. it's oh, yeah, like all over uh, the background. I go, I mean, maybe they were trying to get some more traction for their past movies. Aren't when there they always like movie, references you know? to other trauma films in trauma movies? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of thought there was. I mean, they're kind of in the same universe, right? I mean, oh yeah, right. I would assume so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh, right, that's right. weird. So, like, I guess after that is when. Uh, have you guys gotten to when, uh, like, the silky, uh, silky films is is introduced? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just signed over so the like, rights to it. Right, he signs over the the art crowd, and like he should like to have that like flashback or whatever uh, mm-hmm. montage, yeah. and it's just like random as fuck, you know. It's like uh, these are, these are classy films, and they're like you see people <laughs> yeah, bowling, real classy. Films. And then like right in the middle of the bowling lane, there's yeah, like there's people, fucking, people yeah. fucking, yeah, <laughs> like tits, I'm like what? You know, right. like, like what does he say? Like so- soft focus, you know, real artsy shit. Like you're trying to <laughs> right, the art yeah, crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, if you guys have seen the movie. I've uh, seen a Kentucky Fried movie. Have you ever seen that? I know what you're talking mm. about. I haven't seen it though. Well, no. uh, Roland. Well, th- when I saw this little montage of like all the nudity and like all the random movies and shit like that, it just reminded me of Kentucky Fried movie because, I mean, the Kentucky Fried movie is pretty much just a, like a, almost like a little anthology of like short films put together. And there's like a lot of like outrageous nudity in there. There's like um, it sounds familiar. Have I ever sat through any of that crap with you? You probably sat through it one time because I I, I remember I playing it. It's a parody movie, right? Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, 
because like yeah i i seem to remember like a few of those instances where we would just sit through shit and it was like it was like how you're describing it's just like a bunch of shorts Short yeah, films yeah. Or short clips. It's just well, dumb I mean, shit. for instance, like uh, there's one called like the the movie the Catholic Schoolgirls in Love, and basically mm. it's just women with big tits, mm. like getting fucked throughout the mm. whole thing, and, and like at some mm. point, like one of them's getting fucked in the shower, and her Sucks tits are like hitting the fucking like wall and shit. Mm, yes. um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them like like is this gets, like a fucking get, Cinemax like after dark movie or something? No, no, no. This is just like oh, one of okay. these. Um, it's the guys that did. Um, I think they did um, uh, something about Amy. Uh, something about Mary. Oh okay, yeah. but like there, <laughs> this is the monster cock. Yeah. See, look, he's all like, he's all like, fucking, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like he's enjoying it or but whatever. I'm gonna take a it's screenshot like of that cock. It's, it's kind of weird. Fucking, uh, classical music is always fucking yeah. everything up in the background for every scene. It's that cock has a weird like cat looking face though, man. It's got like a, I don't know, the nose looks like a cat type, like feline nose. I don't and know. and we're gonna like yeah. mention the fact that uh, Juliet's father, Cappy Capulet, oh, yeah, is molesting know. her. And, I don't it's know. They never. They never freak. explicitly. He. You he beats her, it. but yeah, I've he never seen. Her. But there's a scene where he's there, like with a shirt off, and he, she's like, "It's like, and what, and what are you?" And she's like, oh, "Whoa!" Oh, when he like, and he thinks, and he thinks the fucking straightener, the curling okay, iron, like a yeah. like a sex toy or whatever. He like sniffs it or licks <laughs> it or something. What does he say? Like, hold on, I got that. Something uh, about you. You have one more screaming orgasm. Yeah, you were screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Pu- pubescent copulators. There you go. <laughs> leaving your t- yeah, sex toys all about. Leaving <laughs> your sex toys all over the place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy's little Crenshaw melon. Mm, I wasn't, wow. Uh, but I was like, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> Trust it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the next scene was pretty funny, though. Like, where they're in the fucking police station and they're just dragging off that blonde girl. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, like big man, you know, like oh, what, what is he saying? Yeah, yeah, like you're, you're picking on the blonde girl or whatever, no, you know, no, or bl- blind girl. Yeah, that's right. And there's like that <laughs> that one dude behind her, like bitch stole my yeah, Harley. Stole my Harley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for some reason the cops are always like eating bagels mm. <laughs> in every fucking scene, like angrily, you know, just like. How dare you, you know. It's funny, like, they, like, just really bitch slap Sammy. Mm. Uh, he just gets his ass kicked uh, for the oh, whole fucking yeah, thing. Oh, yeah. man, he gets his, yeah, he, like, I, 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 so in the first scene or first, like, fight that he has with Murray, um, I just thought they were in a fucking on the table or something. I was like, this is getting... <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what is it? Well, that's, getting, what he, that's what I'm Sammy, not, that's what Sammy tells like, Murray is, like, Intimate. Turn around so I can fuck your ass or something. He says something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He does. He's like, turn around. So Which I can is fuck kind of funny because ass. isn't that later on the reveal that fuck you? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> when, <laughs> he's, when, when he dies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There he goes biting the bagel again. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I I did like this scene right here is uh, whenever they go and uh, confront them in the car. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Yeah, the end of the end of Sammy. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I was actually say? surprised. Like, I thought he was going to make I a comeback wrote, some at some point in the movie, but she does. Yeah. But like, you, like a you ghost, villainous, you know? abominable kidnapper of use. Yeah, and then that's when he makes the fucking <laughs> yeah. Is it the Henry quote or? Uh, yeah, that's from Henry the Fourth, but it, it's a it's, it's changed up a bit because it, it's a misleader of youth, not kidnapper of youth. So he's kind of right. like, yeah, they do that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think there's a lot of lines in here that they from Shakespeare's plays tweak. that they kind of just like, yeah, they fucking tweak. Yeah. That little, so did like, you guys? Um, but did like how he, catch- like how he has to mention it, and he like he combs his hair back, like he's- yeah, like he does that hair flip kind of, you know. Ah, uh, I'm a thuspian, yeah. you know. Fuck off. Yeah, villainous, abominable, abominable kidnapper, kid- of, kidnapper of youth. And, um, and, like, <laughs> and he like calls out the same. Ha! <laughs> meets my bow. He always fucking busts out that stupid yeah. little baby crossbow. But that has like a little explosives at the end, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the only the one time he uses, uh, the first time he uses it oh. after that. Like, doesn't do shit. Yeah, this, that's this why is, I thought it was interesting. I was like, "Oh fuck, he's got a crossbow!" Then like, boom, like, "Oh cool, it explodes." This, this is the scene I, I found hilarious. Is like when that is it the father telling that little girl like the sidewalk safe, safe the street, street is dangerous, dangerous. and then the fucking car just fucking knocks <laughs> in his ass out. <laughs> in the, the face. <laughs> The little, the little girl, girl makes this like cross-eyed look. That's her home. That's her best home alone. <laughs> Kevin McAllister like look. <laughs> it's pretty funny how like Sammy's still like attached yeah. to the car. 
And it, he gets, yeah, he, he gets like a right as a fucking fire hydrant's coming up. So he can hit his head on the fire. <laughs> it's, all, it's like all rubbery and shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, I thought I, he was totally going to survive this, too. I kind of I kind of did, too, but only because it was a trauma film. Like, watching it there, I was like, okay, he's going to die or not. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like, are you like They kind of such- left that off without, like, saying anything about it, though. He just dies and no one... I don't think anybody mentions like you killed my brother or you killed my you know like. Well, he comes son. back at the end like as a ghost, you know. Well, yeah, I, yeah, but that's I, not I like. He, yeah, I thought he was gonna survive too. That was an acid trip. Like that wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> actually like involved with anything. Where when hits, it's him, Sam, uh, uh, Murray, and um, what's the name of the cousin? Uh, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like yeah. have that, have that fucking like triplet fucking. Uh, uh, um, show tunes fucking track or whatever uh in in uh in Juliet's bedroom uh what does he say like all right kick it fellas shall we gather at the river where bright angels feet have trod what the fuck but like I, I like how when it's you know it's introducing act two and Lemmy says his balls be blue young men think yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was fucking great like I was, I uh, I think that was one of the better lines he had <laughs> throughout the whole time. Like yeah. he just dead. Out. And what was the the deal with the cow? That was the um, the person in the cow costume. Like just fucking. I obviously mean, it's like I thought it was movie. a joke because when you first see them, like oh, like they they did mention they were going to a costume party, but like you see the cow and then you see fucking Murray dressed like an asshole. Uh, uh, or whatever. What I, I don't know. Like he well, his, uh, got, got fucked by a schnozberry or something. <laughs> um, like I was like, uh, time for the furry orgy. Like, uh, what are we gonna see here? Well, so, uh, Tromeo's dad mentioned something about having a dream about cows, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know if that has oh, anything to do with why he's dressed like a cow. Mm-hmm. And like how they I like how they're putting the giant like worm I, maggot into the blender. And, well, it's this or it's the scene where they're in the meat packing plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He finds that giant maggot and like mix mix <laughs> yeah. it in with uh, yeah, it looks mix tasty. in with the hot dogs yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 like the feet and the toes, yeah. and then. But this uh, is this Julia. is the uh, the guy that Juliet's supposed to marry, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, L- London uh, Arbuckle. Arbuckle, yeah. And he's the, the head of the meat packing. Yeah, she Man, finds he's out like, that he's he does such a good job of being such a fucking oh, like yeah, reef. Fucking, I, and he looked familiar to me. I was trying to figure out if you'd been in any of the movies, but yeah, he does like a good job of being fucking like just creepy um, as shit. Because I've known people like that in my life. Like I don't know if anyone else knows <laughs> people, <laughs> people like that. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of but have um, friends. Yeah, he, friends. Yeah. <laughs> But it's um, funny when he finds I'm out she's vegetarian. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. He like starts that was a part he cuts of himself. Most, yeah. Uh he's actually uh, the character's been in a lot. Uh he looks well familiar. he was a stunt he's a stunt fireman in Malcolm X. Uh, <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's saying here. Oh, um, I feel that he's, was before, uh, being that was before Tromeo and Juliet though. He's being underutilized. Uh, let's see, he came out and like actually he's he's got He's had pretty. Looks like he's had work up until 2010. Mm. Uh, like a lot of TV series, he was in Heroes as a guard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so he was uh, like bit bit parts. And stuff. I'm kind of yeah. curious as to why yeah. maybe James Gunn doesn't get most of these people here and fucking throw them in fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. I mean, I why know. not? You know, because, you could get this guy. He'd be were, like a weird like um, little side alien. villain. You know. Yeah. He could be. Uh, he could be somebody. The face on someone's monster dong. Talking to you <laughs> <laughs> like this, they could just reenact that scene. Um, well, that's for the that's for the third Guardian of the Galaxy movie, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, straight up Tromeo and Juliet and shit. <clears throat> uh, uh, Chris Pratt's gonna have like a fucking huge, like, monster dong come out. Like, what? <laughs> 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 um, Star Lord, yeah, that's right. sure. Let me see here. The yeah, that that like most of the the meat. So the those uh, fucking meat. What is it? Meat world. What is it? It's meet uh, me at the meat world. Yeah, meat meet, world. Uh, meat. Meet me at the meat world. Meat world. It's funny. Is it, is it like does that, that porn like everywhere in the run the house and shit? <laughs> Here comes the cow again. Right, yeah. One word. More fat. Fat is good for people. <laughs> like, ugh. and then yeah. he like makes. Yeah. He gets those like pig ears and makes. Raisin loaf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right now we're at the costume party. Uh, oh, Tromeo okay. just revealed himself to what's her name again? 
the girl with the big boobies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh the 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 first the first girlfriend that's yeah. like getting eaten out by that dude hanging <laughs> yeah. behind the, the chair and just like I love how they like it was He's I was I was expecting that the whole time. Like for, at Bluto, first I thought this is uh, oh, Bluto, yeah, Bluto, Bluto Fitzgibbon. Name. So like when when he when Tromeo meets her there like. I, I was looking to see if oh, she was getting fucked behind. Yeah, yeah, his middle oh, finger. Yeah, he's gone. got like a shocker shaped hand or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like he's missing that one finger. So hey, he man, that's just called efficiency, bro. <laughs> right, exactly. Give it a like, but, it, but it's two in the stink, though, and only one of the pinks. So you know, it, it takes too I long mean, to she bend looks that like fucking she's finger into back. She looks like she's into that. But like I was expecting when Tromeo met her, like, you know, like her surprise. I was like, oh, she's probably getting fucked. And like, oh, no, she's just getting some head. Like, OK, um, what are they? What are In they public, say? right? Like, at the party. Yeah. I like how her costume uh, is just like fucking lingerie, too. Like that's her costume. Like, <laughs> yeah. What is it? Uh, uh um sorry we need this chair like really random like in the middle of the fucking <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the shot, you know, and you just see him there. I was like, oh, there it is. OK. So what is it? And, then, and this is the moment where, like, where they meet, right? And they kind of like, yeah. He goes off into that cow monologue. I was like, oh, she does no. teach the torches to burn bright. Yeah. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roland, this is I, how this is how I imagine you, like, uh, like. Uh, oh, fuck off! <laughs> like a rich barbell in a thrasher's ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is how I this, that's how I woo people. That's you, you're watching my fucking game. Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck right off, Ray. Or you finish that <laughs> bullshit sentence. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Uh, like one of the funny scenes though, or funny lines that I, I liked, uh, that actually kind of made me laugh was when uh, London and Juliet are dancing, and then Tromeo walks up, and Juliet's like, "Who are you, cow?" <laughs> like it was just really <laughs> fucking stupid and random. I'm like, "Ha, okay." The rest of this is dumb though. Like. Uh, My little head cheese. <laughs> uh, uh, gross, dude. Gross, motherfucker. I was trying to think if there was like a connection between London being the the the, the male or the male the milkman and Tromeo being a cow. Like mm-hmm. I kind of expected them to like try to milk each other or some shit or I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's you know? that's not something they like. Lloyd, no, it's uh, completely uh, off topic. Mr. Mr. Co- Mr. Kaufman, uh, you you missed your chance. There's Sergeant, yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, you're right, right. There's a lot of, uh, is it yeah. missed opportunities here? Or? Well, no, there's a lot of, um, allusions to, uh, the, uh, the, the other trauma movies because there's Sergeant Kabuki Man, there's a uh, Toxie which walked by right now, so. yeah, yeah, like they're all just like lingering around in the fucking background here, yeah. Like, I, I got here my notes like right after that question. This movie is so fucking stupid, <laughs> <laughs> quote the Shakespeare who gives a fuck. This, oh, movie, that's an, this uh, movie, like, I, I think, like, of all the movies I've watched uh, of the trauma films, like, this one's made me cringe the most just because of, like, all the emotion, I guess. Fuck, I don't know. Well, they're trying it, to be somewhat dramatic here, too, with the uh, 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 trauma, uh, traumaness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, uh, you have to get a little bit ridiculous, too, you know. You can't just. Uh, a little? Well, yeah, of course. Uh, I say a Was it. Uh, now we're on Act 3. Okay, so. When so you are you you're, you're going through the you're going through her her second uh, dream sequence or whatever. Well, right now, Tromeo and uh, I forget his name. Who his friend? Oh, Mar- Murray. Uh, Murray. Murray. Yeah, sorry. Murray Martini. <laughs> <laughs> they're 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 he's just I, I guess uh, Ro- uh, Tromeo's just like pondering about Juliet while he's just kind of oh like, right and Murray's around. just there like talking shit. I and, and oh, all kind yeah, of, like, and this part of that makes sense as, with Murray as to why he's like so close to mm-hmm. the Tromeo later on. We find out that oh, he yeah. was actually gay yeah. when he's dying, and his last request was to, the, just for uh, kiss, uh, yeah, he, to kiss, kiss me yeah. or whatever. Yeah, like what? And, like I'm dying, man. It's my last request. Like, yeah, and then like that awkward fucking kiss. I, when I was watching the movie last night. It um, was. <laughs> I was like, like, "Is this for real? Like, is it really gonna do?" And then like, they just start they, like they making tone? out a little yeah. bit. And I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> and then that that long kind of pause, <laughs> and then the guy says, "Oh, like he was." I'm not gonna say the word, but yeah. I mean, like, cunt. Yeah, cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I, I told I told Bryce, I go, "That got like one of the biggest laughs out of me because like." 
his, his response is not my friend's dead or like yeah. so and so's dead. He's just like, uh huh. He was he was gay or whatever. Yeah. But that shit was funny. But now we are at the dream sequence where Tromeo's like sucking on her toes. <laughs> Oh man, Very that like really just yeah. made me twitch. But I know, I know, I know. Probably tweaked your nuts just a little, Ray. I'm not a toe guy. I wouldn't mm, put toes either, in my mouth, man. really. I'll I'll, I'll, guy, I'll, right? I'll, 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 I'll lick a butthole before I fucking eat some toes. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, well, that's what I mean. Like I, uh, I, I had a twitch for that, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, don't know about I hope Ray thing, wasn't like. I was t- like picturing you either like eating something or having a spit take, kind of like. Bleh. <laughs> You know, like, oh, I think I just puked in my mouth a little. You know, I was hoping uh, this was a dream sequence when he, like, what is he, like, posturing and shit? Yeah. Uh, oh, like, looking like an asshole, like, on the, window, <laughs> yeah. on the windowsill, like, yeah. Ooh, hunched shit. over or whatever the fuck. A... Yeah, right now, they we are at the scene where uh, he opens <laughs> up like her jiffy pop. pregnant belly and it's just He's popcorn like, inside. Mm. Yeah, yeah. His response is, mm. he just starts eating. Oh, it. He, puts yeah. his face and he, he puts his face right in her fucking uh-huh. belly and starts eating the popcorn. And then, oh, oh my god, oh my god, there's rats coming out now. <laughs> and he's like, wait, one, two. It's a boy. It's a boy. And then, like, I think. Oh, yeah, you right. see the yeah, maggots right that, in the right? bottom. That's so fucking it's gross. It's a boy. Man. It's, uh, you oh. know, as gross as this fucking dream sequence is, like, I actually got, like, grossed out more when she wakes up and the dad has even yeah. less <laughs> yeah. more. And, like, he's right next to there and, like, with, like, a hair curler and he's like, ooh, this is a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Probably getting, I, getting what, fucked in the ass. Or... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you the straight you like up, that, like, don't you? You got the straight up, like, D-string on kind of thing, like the fucking tidy. Yeah, tidy really. I, and I was, I was just thinking, like, is this, like, this guy's okay. Like, did, did this guy like think about this after the fact oh, at Jesus all? You know, like, was this a low point in his life? Uh, well, Ed, it's to funny. Be getting paid the, the line and that, like act drunk and creepy. The line that he says is, <laughs> "All your punk him. rock friends, all your punk rock friends, and all your juices coming out of everywhere." Yeah. <laughs> uh, God damn. Uh, um, yeah, and this is yeah. this is where he puts her in the cube, right? Mm. Yeah, in the sex box. The sex box, and then and then like doesn't does he put a pink like yamaka on her? Um, is that what I that is? Like that. that that head cap? <laughs> yeah, like when 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 he dresses her up or whatever. Uh, she he puts like a like a pink head cap or whatever. Oh yeah on yeah her. yeah you're like, right you're right. That, is that a fucking like, it's like a, really? it is like a pink yamaka on her head? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh man. Um. Fuck, what the hell? What's the name of the father insane, again? Man. Cappy. Cappy? He's Cappy, like, Cappy. He's like sweaty. Yeah, he was like straddling some he's things there too. It was kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, was, oh man, rubbing his yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> he's pushing his fucking tits together. Pushing his together. tits together. Yeah. That's what he's I'm doing. Trying, trying. <laughs> yeah, oh right, when he's rubbing his tits yeah. together or whatever. Like the next time you think about something... <laughs> Or whatever the fuck, like having your 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 <laughs> orgasmic dreams, or whatever the fuck, like ugh. Horrible. Oh my god, this movie is fucking crazy. I don't recognize any of the movies this guy has been in. Holy fuck! I wonder Look, if they're all like just how, as creepy. Um, how did as this is? Tromeo find out that she was in the little dungeon cube. I think the cook tells the her. The cook tells her, right? Yeah. Uh, and then he sees yeah. him like guarding like the door goes, and he kind of passes through there. Yeah, he just well, like, like completely by. fucking drunk. Yeah, and he, yeah, he's he, passed out yeah. in the fucking hallway. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, it was kind of funny how he just like goes in there and nobody like no nobody stops him. Like he just walks into this house like, like he fucking owns yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And the maid's like, I know she loves you. Just go up the stairs and watch out for the second, like the second staircase. It, it's It's loose or some shit. I this was the sex I mean, scene I had to like fast forward in my house. Like, yeah, it was I had to keep oh, on going. Oh. oh yeah, okay. Uh I no, I, I had it was unfortunately I sat through all of it like <laughs> ugh. It's just fucking sad. Um Damn, really fast I was just kind of curious, but like did any of you guys think that that fucking like socket in the wall that the dad plugs it you know into uh looks like a uterus? Hmm. <laughs> no, I, I, didn't I didn't check that out. I didn't yeah. think that at all, but sure. like it's I I don't know. It looked too weird for me, and like for me not to be like, all right, 
there is some goddamn, some goddamn innuendo up the ass throughout this whole thing. Well, you're gonna, yeah, you could say you that know. about the whole fucking movie, man. I mean, but like in particular, that fucking room or whatever, like they go into the fucking like sex torture room or mm-hmm. shit. I don't know. Uh, if I you guys like, have it, like go back to that scene and like look at that fucking that plug <laughs> because it's just like that looks like fucking the inside of a vagina. Like I don't understand. <laughs> Is this the, the scene where the guy finds out she's a vegan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's like losing his fucking mind. He no, starts... no, he, he finds out she, no. she finds out she's a vegan in the meatpacking place. Oh, right, 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 where right, she yeah. tells him to somebody else. And his uh, this is probably like one of the best acted scenes. Yeah, in, tra- in, in the whole in fucking movie. movie yeah. He's like Which punching the shit, punching, punching the yeah. shit out of himself. Oh, right. Um, oh, what we're seeing here is uh, the scene where ah, oh, I keep forgetting his fucking name. London. London. London, Arbuckle. L- London, yeah. London Arbuckle is uh finds out that uh Juliet he gets, is he gets turned down. Yeah, he's not the only one in her life. He's just like a, a and total he like overreacts. Oh, the, I'll never the take no for an answer. Uh, starts beating himself. There is a up. there is a scene uh where the priest uh <laughs> or the father or the the yeah. guy who kinda helps him yeah. uh initially that like in priest. the re- normal, I guess in the Shakespeare Romeo and Juliet, he provides like the hiding space and yeah, the, yeah, yeah, officiates. Yeah, what is it? The like, potion <laughs> that gets her like uh, oh, the tincture. That's I'm not sure if that comes from the priest. Doesn't it come from the like he's like a friar or some shit like that? I just like uh, how it, the, it, I like the statement. That, well, the priest asks him, "Is like oh, you're up, you're up uh, before noon or when he's like." Maybe yeah. late for you, Father, but it's or it's like maybe early for you, Father, but it's late late night for me or something like that. Somehow that's <laughs> right. how I feel sometimes, man. I don't know if I can get it. Oh uh, fuck no. Um, it was uh, man. That was it. Uh, I don't think it was a cool. What does he say? Like I don't think it was a coincidence that I ran into you here, Father. I was like you were just fucking yeah, walking down the yeah. street, dude. Like, like you don't know this whole neighborhood and shit. Like, get the fuck out. Not of only here. that, he was like walking in his fucking neighborhood, man. So yeah. So like, where the fuck else would you? You know, Ben, that's, um, that's it was kind of funny, though, like how he introduces him and like he's the priest is giving out all the bread. and He's like he has that huge bag and, and he's like, oh, yeah, like he's like, here, my son, would you please be so kind as to distribute this <laughs> yeah. to the others? You know, so like while he talks to Tromeo and the guy just takes off running <laughs> and all the bums go running after him. Like, oh, OK, <laughs> that fucking takes care of that. Um, That priest was equal parts cool and equal parts like fucking gross and creepy like uh what does he say later on when he's when he's helping tromeo and, and julia get married uh he's like i Jimmy i understand he, he says like I, I understand love or i was you know like i i've experienced <laughs> love or something like that yeah. and like it's it's a, it fucking like shoots over to like uh i i I'm, I'm assuming this was a a flashback for the priest where he's like like dancing around in a circle with a with a little boy. Yeah. Or or at the we're at the scene where she calls the sex the sex line or the Oh right. And it's and just it's like it's the big like gross dude. Like fuck. yeah. He's like just oh He's like Tromeo what is, is coming in fair sun or <laughs> oh, right. sun well, I'm coming. Can you can you read what the <laughs> like the signs of the wall yeah. Yeah. the wall behind him say? Sing like one of them's like Tromeo's coming line, inside the or... fair sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yippee yahoo! <laughs> Yippee yeah. yahoo! Yippee yahoo! Oh, the signs on the back yo. wall are fucking funny too. Like what does it say? Dumb shit. You're done. Uh, like one of them says, "Like <laughs> keep him on the phone as long as you can." Or um, oh fuck, I can't remember. Oh, oh shit! He's just like sitting there, no, like the toilet, <laughs> like with the fucking corded phone, really. <laughs> Cord, the corner oh, phone is right. like sitting when, on his fucking when, dick. When Tromeo is trying to call uh, Juliet the whole time and she finally picks up, he's taking a <laughs> shit. Yeah. Then like, we're going to get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and, he, and she's like, what was that? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> like, they're both idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Reciting Shakespeare while he's on fucking taking a shit. Like, okay, so this was funny to me going back to when they were in. The, the... <laughs> it just says poopy noise <laughs> in his fucking face. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't read that. Oh, uh, yeah, because I just so, had the captions on. Did you guys remember when they're in the sex room and uh, Juliet invites uh, uh, Tromo in the box to bang and she's like, oh, don't worry, this room is soundproofed. Uh, because they don't want like they so so that, so that the family doesn't have to listen to her screaming or whatever the fuck or crying, 
but like the door is left wide open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, and and uh, the maid goes in and also watches them or whatever. Like, <laughs> but well, like, she's a freak, man. Yeah. I mean, oh man, I, I I thought she was so oh, super man. hot. Oh but, yeah, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Her her tattoos keep moving around on her body. Like it's I guess that's another. I don't know if that's another joke. Well, she has uh, like she's got a thing for for Juliet. Right, yeah, yeah. But like she has a tattoo of like a like a woman or like a pinup model on her arm. Yeah, yeah. First it, it doesn't it does, like and never... then <laughs> And then I think in the in the other scene, like it's between it's it's on her chest after that. You no. Know, that point. Yeah. There's a scene where Chomi uh Chomi was getting the fucking tattoo and he's like oh, he's, <laughs> he's like, like crying he's like shit. crying and shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's like overreacting. Oh he's like the yeah, 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 yeah. And... Um, oh man, I completely forgot about when like London gets turned down at at Juliet's house. Yeah, like do you guys remember how he shows up? He's like, "Oh, I brought you a gift," you know, like some shitty flowers. And he's like, "But that wasn't all." And then he's like, "What do you think about honeymooning in the fuck was that place? Swanson, Wales, to see the cow, like the biggest yeah. like cow cattle <laughs> herd in the world, or something." You know, we can go to the bath the bathroom anytime we want with these. Like, like it's a, like an extra. Well, right right now we're at the scene where he's like slamming his head against like the pig carcass. The fucking pig. And carcass, then he's like, "This yeah. is this is Julie," and he opens up the the, the pig carcass <laughs> and like puts his head in there and shit. Like, <laughs> like, did anyone else notice too that that guy's? Uh, I don't know what he's one of the Capulet the thing. I don't know what his name is, but he's got that shillelagh like the the club and it's like yeah, fucking Hitler's yeah, the, face the, on the, it. The Hitler face. <laughs> I think that's it's all rubbery Tyrone. as shit too, it's like a fucking dildo or something. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's Tyrone Capulet. There you go. Um, the, yeah, I. He, he almost seems like, like almost normal. This looking guy's one. going fucking crazy too. The London Arbor was like stabbing himself with a meat hook and like headbutting the fucking he pig carcass. Die. I thought he was gonna die after that, but he fucking survives. I guess that's the joke that the guy fucking keeps like fucking himself up, and he's still at least yeah, until he, the he last. He keeps on last, going. The last, last, last scene or whatever when he's like. He fucking throws himself out the window. I was like, finally. <laughs> that bitch yeah. out of here. I find, I find oh. hilarious that fucking Godsmack poster in the background mm. of the tattoo parlor. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, man. It's a 97, like, right? I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. It's 97, man. Like, at this point, I was I was getting really tired of this movie because, holy fuck, it's but, almost two hours long. Yeah. And, like, why does he carry that fucking club around the way he does? Like, he's like, he holds it in a weird way. Like, yeah. Uh, like he's like it's like, like a he's scepter or some it. shit or yeah I don't know fucking... I, I I thought it was like a fucking extension of his wang he's just like slapping it on his hand you know like feet, feel the way that meat beats my my fist <laughs> kind of crap uh, right now I we're know, at the, like, we're I at the, tar- the funniest thing though like we're at the tattoo parlor where Murray is uh, Murray of all things he's, he's, talking, he's talking insulting shit. fucking Tyrone Capulet calling yeah, him like, anus like, fruit cake and then he starts fiddle, kicking fucking, his ass dweeb, I was like beep, whoa cunt. One of the uh, ones. Yeah. Ass fuck. He that one's close he, to the like, mark. And he uses his bladder, his entire Pussy bladder. On <laughs> yeah. I think he made up some some of those. There were, oh, they're, some of them they're pretty good. Sense. Though, like like Beeb or Beeb or Bong and Bird Brain Bugger oh. Meat Bitty Motherfucking yeah, Sissy Wanker Yellow Belly Ho Daddy Weenie Penis Troll Chuckle Head with, Me. <laughs> he, I think he ends it. What does he say? Like the one that best describes you though is bitch. <laughs> 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 As in about to be my. <laughs> hey, he he had a vocabulary there going. I mean, yeah, he said for yeah, kicks was, times. Yeah, uh, he he, he starts thing. rhyming a couple of times for that whole thing. I was like, oh, this is that's what I was thinking. Like if he if they were pulling sh- shit from the uh, from Shakespeare. Yeah, this uh, is directly from Shakespeare. Yeah, right. Right. I believe right. it was in there somewhere. <laughs> Right, this is the, yeah, the the amended yeah. edition, the annotated <laughs> so, version uh, of uh, Romeo and Juliet. Scene six paragraphs. Uh, this is the no fear no, for Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah, Nine <laughs> seven. Fucking Murray just pisses on him, and he yeah he, he, he doesn't he even takes the full yeah. piss on yeah. him. Yeah. He, doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't move, doesn't like, feel shit. He like turns around to him zipping up, like really. <laughs> I was like, at some point or another, wouldn't you feel all that piss just running down your fucking yeah, leg? I think so. Man. Right, like I'm pretty sure. And it's funny that his friend feel uh, your ass gets he, like so... waits till the very end, like hey, uh, this guy's pissing on your leg. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was funny, like how the the guy that's getting tattooed gets stabbed in the eye after that accidentally, <laughs> oh, and then he just like disappears. Nobody gives a fuck about what happens to him. He's like, 
Oh, what does he no. say? Major pain, lots of extreme, super pain, Murray. <laughs> and then like he's gone, and then and then Murray gets fucking hit by the Hitler mace, and and all of a sudden everyone's like, oh my god, no! You know, like they run out, of, they run out, like like the chicks that were in the in the tattoo probably are like, oh my god, they just leave. It's like, oh okay, so it's <laughs> nobody gave a fuck about that first guy because nobody gave a fuck about that dude. Um. <laughs> He has this fucking Actually, eyeball at yeah. the end of the fucking t- the tattoo needle. You know what's yeah. funny? That uh, Tyrone Capulet, like oh. when he's like swinging that fucking little scepter of his, like he does the first swing. He like is swinging it so close yeah. to his body, like you know he's like totally gonna miss until he fucking yeah. hits uh, Murray right in the fucking side of the head, and they drag him to the the chair, and he's just like, ah. uh, how about a uh, how about a reach around? Yeah. <laughs> Before I die. Uh, yeah. I, go, he, I, I was kind of, I didn't see the, the next part coming when he's telling the when story they, about the fact that the nail goes right through his fucking foot. Thought that oh, was going to be yeah, the worst really pain. Stupid. And then his last request comes out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> it, uh, that was pretty funny. Would you kiss me goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He almost looks like he's in Euphoria when mm-hmm. he gets kissed by Tromio, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Murray was a beep. Yeah. <laughs> that part got the biggest fucking laugh out of me, man. That shit was funny. You know, I was kind of expecting something like that. Uh, not that, like, that like Murray was going to be gay, but that somebody was going to drop, uh, drop a, like, an F-bomb or yeah. whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 1997, man. And you can uh, drop as many as you like, want well, at the time. Well, like, well, like, yeah, and but in only because this is a trauma film, and like he always does a shit like that. Yeah, that I've seen. Well, are you speculating that he was, or are you telling me that Lloyd Kaufman was gay? I thought Lloyd oh, Kaufman was gay, but I don't, I don't know, know if he is or not. But uh, it, but I mean, we've talked about like uh, the progressiveness the, yeah. of a trauma <laughs> trauma entertainment. With their transgender yeah, or acceptance of transgender, of transgender characters, characters yeah. the, yeah. which is funny because the villains normally are accepting of the different types of persons. Like in Class of Newcomb High, um, one of the villains is part of the transgender. I mean, one of the transgender <laughs> people are part of the villains, but they all like yeah. love him and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that um, fucking uh, shitty uh, happens to everyone sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that was actually kind of that's funny. Uh, James Gunn. You're gonna see him like dri- riding the car. He is the dad driving. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. And they're all singing the song. The song like, I, like, I found, I found I like, a peanut or some okay, shit. So, that. yeah, yeah, and then like the fucking the car like um, flips and shit. What happens? Like they well, like right now they're driving. They're driving the car, and like there's a, um, yeah, like okay, a flatbed what, what getting happened? raised, and the guy just gets decapitated. Right, right. Uh, Tyrone yeah. Capulet gets decapitated. The fucking and head then, goes flying, uh, and then that's when it, it lands on the that's car. Yeah. Of the family that's like driving by yeah. and they're singing that peanut shit. I just found a peanut, found a peanut just now, and then boom, the head just falls on yeah. the car. <laughs> and then like the little the little kids are like, "Yay!" <laughs> the, parent, the parents are like freaking out. And like they crash, and like that fucking car <laughs> goes like twenty, like hits like twenty feet vertical or some shit. Like it fucking <laughs> went up there. I was like, holy fuck, that's awesome. Yeah. And then it lands, you know, and like they get out, like the parents. See, scr- that's where their fucking budget went right there, flipping that car. <laughs> that's right yeah. where they spent the three hundred fifty thousand. Like the fucking kids start playing like like catch with the head. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny, and yeah, because like, like through all that shit they just like walk out casually out of the fucking yeah, car. Yeah, they're they're fucking having fun. And then the fucking like the car explodes. <laughs> like I thought that was the funniest shit. Um so, uh, James Gunn uh, acting chops right there. Yeah. yeah. The kids start mm-hmm. getting the head they get the head. And then that's that's when they go to the like was it they they arrest or they, they go to the police the police station after that and they fucking have that great line. What is it? They found a peanut of death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this guy, oh, my knee, it really hurts. <laughs> yeah. 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 After all like that other shit. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's sprained, guys. <laughs> Sissy. Yeah, they're, now they're at the cops. Now you fucks have gone yeah. too far. Goddamn heads bouncing off <laughs> the cars. And long, you're singing, I found a peanut. Well, they found the peanut, all right, honey. They found a peanut of death. <laughs> And they're still eating fucking bagels. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Always, always goddamn bagels. I don't fucking, I don't know about you guys, but I do not like bagels. I, not a f- are you not a fan of bagels? Nah, like at all? biscuits are, biscuits are cool. Maybe like, have you uh, never had like I bagels and cream pretty cheese pretty indifferent to bagels myself? No, um, I, I've, I have, I've tried them, but no, like, you mean the cream cheese and all that crap? Yeah. Just talking. Yeah. So emphasis on crap. Uh, but I will take an English muffin. Okay, uh, let's talk about the ending of this movie. Um, there is a part where the father of the priest, he gives fucking Juliet whatever the potion is or something. He, uh, no, then, no, no. So, like, the priest tells him about a buddy of his, the old sorcerer, Fu Oh, Chang. that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, yeah, he yeah, runs yeah, the yeah, opium yeah, den. He's like, I've known him for years, this herbalist. <laughs> uh, runs an opium den. Yeah. And he sends him out there and... Uh, that's okay. That's Ooh, when he, dang. the priest has that, that fucking flashback where he's dancing with the kid, you know, seeing like super creepy. And then like Julia goes out to meet uh, Fu Chen. What does he say? Or she's like, You're Fu Chen? And he's like, Yeah, I'm Fu Chen, deal with it. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking Rastafarian and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like super fucking aggressive. Yeah, Fu Chen, get over it. Get, o- get over it, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, Tell me the story or whatever. Like, just, and, sh- and, like, the second he tells her, like, you know, tell me what's wrong, I was like, oh, fuck, she's going to tell her, like, the whole fucking, like, story, like, backstory to the movie and everything. And so, yeah, it's like she has that, like, <laughs> that mini monologue or whatever the oh, fuck. Man. Well, it started when my dad met my mom. And he's, like, and bored blah, blah, blah. shit. Yeah. Like, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, he's, like, snoring and shit later on. It's like, just. <laughs> he's yeah, just telling her to stop. Know. Like, <laughs> Yeah, stop here. You know, he gives her the tincture. Uh... <laughs> That's the thing that turns her into a pig, right? Yeah. Or it's yeah. like a cow. No, it's a cow. It's a cow? She's got horns it's a, and everything. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. But it's got like pig hoofs or whatever, no? And a, and a like a, a pig nose. But yeah, no, like it's doing... Yeah, see, I thought she turned it into a pig, It might have been both, dude. She's a she's uh, a, she's a, it, it, like, she's a she's kid. doing see, well, <laughs> she's there's making... a lot of cow imagery in this <laughs> yeah, fucking exactly. movie. Like I don't know if anyone like I don't know what's up with the cows, a recurring theme, but I'm pretty sure it's the cow because like when you look, she has horns. And, yeah, yeah, we'll see right but now. She's making cow noises too. Yeah. And then she's got like the cow dong or the bull <laughs> she's dong. Yeah. The long ass fucking dick. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I was, I was honestly thinking that like she was, she was gonna show him her vag, and it was gonna have like teeth, or it was gonna be like warty or like green or something. It's just she's just like hanging monster dong. I was like what the mm-hmm. fuck? This fucking huge <laughs> ass fucking dick. <laughs> and that was it for him. He's past like, her fucking oh, knees, man. I'm good. Like <laughs> I like how she drinks it, and she's like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, Fu Chang ripped me off. Yeah, i have like I paid him a hundred yeah, bucks for this. Colored water. <laughs> She's like vomiting. Uh, green classic slime. trauma green. Yep, yep. And then that's yeah. And then she has that acid trip, like hallucination of all the three people that died before. The, they're like, like you're gonna join us pretty soon. Lines again. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um. Right. She, yeah. She starts doing a like acid trip, kind of. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Her cousin. Thing. Her as like it's her cousin, right? Uh, Ty, Tyrone Capulet. Yeah. And Murray yeah, yeah. show up. Murray and and uh, Sammy. Yeah. Are like he's, dancing he's around. Wasn't shit. FDA approved? <laughs> right. Yeah, that was fucking great. Um. Oh, what happens? Uh, and then like Tromeo gets up there. And uh, well, okay, no, right? Um, London like throws himself out of the room, like out the window. I think that's where he finally dies. Like he just slams it on the pavement, <laughs> yeah. and like the dad is st- out in the out in the patio or some shit. Like he just sees him, you know, bleh, and then he's like, "Oh fuck!" He just like that's when he takes off inside. And then like Tromeo's up there, and <laughs> when he kisses Juliet, like I and they, you know, you see like the fucking fireworks effects or whatever. Like I honestly thought that this was gonna like end with him turning into a fucking like you know, pig cow too, and like then they're gonna like be together from that and instead like she, you know, turns back, you know, into her pretty face and I was like, Maybe she keeps the horse dong. Like uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, probably not. Uh, and then like it, the fucking dad is Bring you know has his, his his fucking famous line. Bring me my bow. Like not my oboe, <laughs> you asshole. Like the uh, little effects that they have during her little transition mm-hmm. here. It's like just yeah, like literally lights and shit going on. Fireworks. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh I, I forgot. Know. Like, 
before Tromeo gets over there, what is it? The priest, right? Like drives him out to to Juliet's house, and like when they're on the road, uh, I think Tromeo is like, "Can you, you know, like, can you speed it up?" Or like, "Come on, we got to get there." And the fucking priest is like, "Hail Mary, full of grace, give this bitch the speed of the Holy Spirit." <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the line I was looking for because right now they actually are driving. Hail yeah. Mary, full of give grace, this give this bitch, bitch the speed the of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so again, like you know what's hilarious is that uh, I was looking on IMDb fuck. and like trying to look at some kind of like quotes that the came that they had. Oh, there's nothing. Well, is see, that... well, see, that's the thing is that I was like, where the fuck is that line? That line is oh. fucking hilarious. But like every yeah, like yeah. most of the other like quotes on there, um, they have like from other characters. But that one line I felt was probably one of the funniest. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that, that priest there, had some you know? of the best funniest moments i mean like he's a total creep with his fucking pedophile flashback yeah <laughs> uh like yeah you know, he fucking has this moment where he's like driving around uh and then like he goes metal on that other dude uh in that fight segment or whatever what does he tell him uh like when tromeo and the priest get into the house like that 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 roided out dude like tries to stop him and mm-hmm. The priest is like, no, Tromeo, don't worry. Like, I got this. And, and, uh, like, he just beats the fuck out of that guy. <laughs> and, like, he's saying, like, he's not quoting scripture or anything, but he is saying, like, like, how, oh, what does he say? Like, you know, the knee of, knee of the Lord or the knee of the, like, he says some funny shit. And then he fucking stomps this guy's skull in, like, so he goes, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with his fucking foot, right? Yeah. It's yeah, just like it's like, just like all rubber and shit. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, we just we, we just saw the monster yeah. dong revealed to London surprise. right now. Right, surprise! You, you said, said after you, always, all you love the crying game. <laughs> said you always love the crying game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again, um, a movie that you would have to know the ending or have seen before uh-huh. to get that reference. Um, anyone who's listening, and you haven't seen the crying game. I mean, just take Bar Ward for it. Yeah, he's, uh-huh. he he vomits, throws himself out the fucking window. You think that monster dong was the one that like. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, because that shit was huge. Yeah. You know, that part of me thought that. like, part of me thought that that w- it was gonna backfire on Juliet. Like, he was gonna see her and be like, "Oh my god!" Like, I've never been more turned on in my life. Like, you look like one of my one of my meats or some shit. You know. Or he was gonna turn into like full on butcher mode and try to like turn her into a meal or some shit. <laughs> We just saw the the priest step on the guy's head right now. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> I was trying to like, see if there was any uh, like quotes from him though, or, or... he says I, something. Like well, no, he, I, I like, mean he doesn't. I don't, I don't know if he says anything. I mean before anything, he, before he stomps his face, he says something like don't like something along the lines of don't fuck with me or like I'm a badass or I don't know. What. Yeah, it's nothing as memorable as that line in the car. <laughs> no, no, no. But it was just like really fucking funny. Uh. Because, like, they're all laughing at him. And I was like, oh, no, the priest is going to get fucked up. And then instead, like, he just royally <laughs> beats their ass. <laughs> and I don't know what he does to those other two chicks. Uh, I don't think he actually does anything. But, like, in the end of the movie, they're kind of beat up and, like, tied up. Uh, oh, wait, unless I think it was alluded that the cops beat up those two chicks. <laughs> yeah. Actually. All from all that, those bagels that they ate and shit. Yeah. Like, they... And and it, it was really funny because like the dude that had his face stomped in like they just put like a newspaper over his face. And they're, <laughs> yeah. just, like, standing, they're just like standing. Yo, there, yeah, like, they're standing Ugh. on top of his fucking head. And yeah, shit. they're standing on top of his head. Like, they just, they just like cover him with a fucking raggedy newspaper and shit. They're like, oh yeah, wait, you know, like hey, uh, father, like any chance you want to join like our our team? You know, like they're offering him a job and shit. <laughs> But so, like, are you guys watching the fight scene then with yeah. uh, the father and yeah, Tomeo? yeah, that's that's happening right now. I'm kind of like skipping through a little bit. Where like she, like Juliet starts beating the shit out of him. She like she's like stabbing him right she, now. She burns him with the fucking curling iron, melts his face, and then like stab, or something stabs stabs him with Bobby with Bobby pins. Bobby's yeah, pins, yeah. <laughs> like and then pulls out her like her nail file and she flips it like a knife at yeah. first. Like catches the blade end. I was like, are you gonna throw it at him? So she just like she shoves a hair dryer, the, the hair dryer in his up mouth. his mouth, yeah. That's right. Like I was thinking he, he was gonna like explode or some shit from that. It was gonna be something dumb. <laughs> dumb her, excuse me. And no, like she just like basically probably gave him like second second degree burns or whatever on the inside yeah, his of fucking his fucking mouth, yeah. Mouth. 
the, uh, the trauma, trauma, the, the, the yeah. trauma pad, time pounds. The trauma yeah. time pounds, yeah. He's like, uh, Tromeo gets him and shoves him oh, off the desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Like, trauma light or yeah, something? Yeah, like, trauma light. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Trauma light time pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. man. Like a fucking prop. Movie prop. That she, like, fucking crushes him with uh, that. Um... Does uh, Trauma Entertainment have, like, a gift store? That you can I don't know, man. If I can find some of those, like, as a prop. That'd be. And she puts the fucking computer monitor on his fucking head. Yeah. It's or is all, that a TV? No, fake. it's a computer monitor. It's right? a computer monitor. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's all fake it's and shit. Fucking <laughs> bad crap. What is this? Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to look for like some trauma memorabilia. memorabilia and He's shit still right following now. him with the yeah. fucking TV <laughs> on his head. That's hilarious. Yeah, that I kind of. I, I, that made me laugh. You well, plug it in, oh, right? The, to the, yeah, yeah, she, pl- yeah, she plugs it in. in like, electric she plugs it, it into the, the and utero it, socket. And he's doing it again. He said the, the utero the, socket, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised. Like, was he actually going to kick both their asses? Like, they were going to get defeated by this guy with a fucking huge ass computer monitor <laughs> on his fucking head? Right. Well, yeah. Why is he going into the box, though? I don't understand why he has to fucking do it. Uh, like, I, I think because he's, a, well, mostly because he's a fucking creep. Like, He's, that was probably going to be like the scene where he bangs Juliet or something or tries to. But like he went in there and he starts getting the uh, like the chains and stuff for her, oh, ready for okay, her or yeah, whatever I the see, fuck. Yeah. So I, I think Mind he, you, he doesn't take kinda, off the fucking monitor no. off his head. <laughs> no, like he's still walking around with the fucking TV on his head. Wasn't he like quoting more Shakespeare or something at him, too, at that point? Yeah, I yeah so, he yeah, said she, something about he's like uh, he says Ozymandias by Percy. That's right. <laughs> yeah, by C, by, by C. Yeah. Percy. Yeah. You know, like. In the head, fucking the fucking TV explodes the, with his head in it. Got the flare. They go a little total that recall, I, you know. I, yeah. I like that. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> Flat. Um. Ha 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 ha! Oh wow, twelve bucks for a Toxic Avenger prayer candle. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a picture of fucking Toxic uh, Toxie and like, you have you guys you guys have seen like the um. Whenever it's uh, like the depiction of Jesus and he's got the the flaming heart, yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah. he's reaching towards it. So yeah, it's that it's a picture of Toxie, like he's wearing a green robe and he's reaching to a green flaming heart. <laughs> and it's, it's funny. Oh wow, that's that's awesome. Ooh, we could get the fucking official soundtrack for Redneck Zombies on vinyl. What is that? Yeah, scene that he said. Like, you know, priests, I like your style. You could consider work for working for a guy like me. He's Wartburg, like, do you ever yeah. get the chance to work with kids? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, they um, were revealing that shit. Mm-hmm. There you go. Way, it's another. Uh, yeah, like fucking 20 years ago. Way, you know? Yeah, that uh, trauma's yeah. revealing some shit, you know? Yeah, that like fucking priests are creeps. And, I mean, uh, be honest with you, people probably cop, know that shit cops. for the longest fucking time. Oh, I'm Nobody's sure they said No one said anything. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, but yeah, it was funny. Like the priest and the cops, you know, are both assholes together. You know, yeah. like. Well, we're at the very like, end. Uh, we do find we have the big reveal that um, oh, Tromeo that, and Juliet are actually they're, brother they're and sister. Brother, sister, half brother, half sister. But they're they're totally down with the fact that. What yeah. do they say? Fuck it. We've gone too far already. Like, <laughs> might as well yeah. just go for it now. And so then I was like, okay, where are we going to end up with like the three eyed, four legged children or whatever? <laughs> yeah, and that does get revealed towards the end. And, oh, and, okay, and they, so do, they do reveal that the, the, his father, who is black, is not really his dad. And he's so enthusiastic to have this fucking kid yeah. around. Like, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, wait, so like the, the Montague wasn't his actual father? I yeah, yeah, he was. he was. No, no, yeah. Like, uh, oh, man, I got confused. No, what, I'm just saying, like, the, the father, it's revealed that the his black father is not his real dad. Uh, she's right. But, 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 but he, but he, but he, like, uh, he wanted the kid yeah. anyways, so, uh, he pretty much just, they got, they got, like, with the divorce, right? He signed Wait, over all the movie deals and I stuff thought, like that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, I thought, um, when, so so when the mom told uh, Montague that he wasn't the father, that was true because I, I I got confused. Like I thought it no, was. No, I'm sorry, his sorry, kid. you're right. I, I I'm sorry. Yeah, Montague wasn't the father, but he he was so adamant about keeping his he son. He wanted the kids, so he signed over Silky Films. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, they blackmailed him to like, otherwise they were gonna take the kid away. 
or something like that. Yeah, so he wanted the kid more than he did want the, his film company. Or right. <clears throat> Which I think he gets it back in the end anyway. I'm not too something sure. Like I don't that. know if that gets revealed or not. But uh, uh, we, the, the, again, the major reveal is that they, we find out that Tromeo and Juliet were brother, half brother and half sister. Yeah. And they don't give a fuck. And they don't just, give a shit. They've already banged like several times or whatever, probably. And perhaps you haven't noticed, son, but I am black. I wondered about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> um, well, the thing that yeah. the, the, on the reveal scene where the mom's telling uh, Monty Key to find his, not like, his son, it's like they can prove it in the lab. Like, what? <laughs> Why did he? <laughs> like, do you need that? Yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. But um, so in the last scene when you know they are having their little cookout have you gotten to that yet the epilogue? Yeah, we're about to get to it right no uh so i was expecting like you see like the you epilogue. know tromeo and juliet they're on like the back like in the backyard like oh, barbecuing or whatever and you see his his he has like two little girls and they they run up and they've got like like, extra heads like it's, and shit. they both extra have faces. like another f- an extra extra faces on on their heads or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, but the sun doesn't. What, what the, does the sun, sun looks normal, yeah. right? Like, I I was trying to understand, like, oh, like I was expecting them to do something <laughs> with that. Yeah, I was kind of curious as to whether or not, like, I was, like, I, I was looking at the kid to see if there was yeah. any like some some sort of deformity, yeah, but like, there wasn't. I, you know? I was like, are, does he have alien eyes? Like, no. <laughs> does he look like the priest? Like, no. Like one little girl looks like she has like tumors growing out inside of her cheek, and then the other yeah. girl has like a face a, growing out the side of her head. Face, yeah, yeah. I mean, the face at, on the side of her head looks like the the guy from ba- or the monster from Basket Case a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a right. it. Does look like him, yeah. Yeah, and the, the boy has there's nothing wrong with him. They have one normal child, I guess. Yeah, we don't know. Well, Wait I kept looking at the kid. Like I don't see anything. He's probably got a monster dong. <laughs> he's got cow dong. <laughs> yeah, he's got fucking hooves or some shit. Um, yeah, and then we have like a what's supposed to be William Shakespeare like chuckling at the end of the movie. Yeah, that was... <laughs> for a second, I thought that was Lloyd Kaufman. I saw it. I was no, like, no, no, no. Lloyd, Lloyd Kaufman came out like uh, at the, the party. party. Yeah. He's at the party. He's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he just oh, has okay. a reaction shot of like the fight breaking out. Uh, all right. Okay, so we're at the end of this movie. Very much trash cinema. Uh, and, I mean, I, I personally did enjoy it. I laughed a lot. I mean, it's a trauma movie. There's coming to expect exactly what I saw here. Uh, a lot better than Surf Ninjas Must Die. Although that was still uh, was hilarious. Surf Nazis, uh, Surf Nazis Must Die, I'm sorry. Uh, wow, but really. cross, cross the stream. Yeah, I did cross Ouch. the streams. Okay, so Bryce, since you have returned to us in our trauma state, Marathon what do you give us? Remember, fresh. there's two ratings. You have a trauma rating and a normal movie rating. I'm going to give it a four out of five for trauma. Um, not my favorite trauma movie, but uh, definitely an uptick in production value, I guess you want to say that. Uh, <coughs> acting is a little bit, I mean, better for trauma if you want to, like, I mean, considering yeah. other movies they've made. You can tell they were really trying to make something with this. I don't know what, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I said, I think they consider this to be like their their you know flagship movie, I guess in a way. Well, obviously, like Toxic Avengers, like this is like the one that they were trying to go if, as much as they possible artsy with it, I guess, or try to be a little like semi serious, I guess. Not serious. I don't know how to explain it, but they try they're putting a little more production value into it. Like I said, they have like they even have a, like a 25th anniversary edition Blu-ray that came out for it um but yeah i'll definitely give it a four out of five uh not my favorite but i liked it and as far as i guess actual movie rating go uh what, what are we what, is it also out of five yeah out of five you know what for 1997 parody type movie i don't know man i'm gonna give it a I'll go to 2.5, all right. 2.5, okay, 2.5. as a normal movie. Yeah, yeah, normal movie. 1997. Okay, um, thank you, Bryce. No as problem. a trash cinema connoisseur. <laughs> uh, now the trash cinema bystander, Roland. Uh, Remember, yeah. there are two uh, ratings, trauma and normal. Normal and trauma. Okay. Uh, I, was, I thought he was the victim. 
Oh, he yeah, was the yeah. casualty. Oh, casualty. Casualty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I definitely feel like a fucking casualty because I watched this sober. Like the whole, whole time, I was thinking like, I like, damn it, I don't have any liquor in this room. Uh, but um, yeah, because I kept reaching over unconsciously where I used to have this bottle of rum next to me, and mm-hmm. like, oh, it's not there. Fuck. Um, it's a deadly mistake. So, I uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I survived some. I guess my a normal movie. Uh, shit rag rating for this would probably be like a. We're, we're going out of five, right? So that's correct. I'll give this a flat two and a half, actually, because that's as a normal rating. It's yeah, it's it's pretty normal to me, only because like it's pretty balanced on the parts of it I I hate. You know, like every time they bust out the fucking uh, this the 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 hammy Shakespeare quotes. Uh, because it's just so cheesy and fucking campy and just makes me cringe to to listen to them like gush at each other like Bleh. um but uh but like the the gore made me laugh a lot like the the um uh, fucking lemmy killmeister narrating was the funniest shit yeah and, uh <laughs> yeah, definitely and then you know like the sets i guess that they use like the like the humor was was really easy to see but like i i i enjoyed that uh you know like when when tromeo like gets rejected from his girl his first girlfriend because she's like getting eaten out by (laughs) that dude in the fucking party uh what else was funny like um you know all the quotes from the fucking priest uh were actually pretty funny uh murray was 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 kind of funny but you know he was i i thought he was equal parts funny equal parts annoying as fuck um uh sammy's character made me laugh because he was just like you know i guess like the quintessential fucking crack meth addict or whatever so uh he played that pretty well but i thought um uh that, that fucking ty capulet's character was dumb but the thing is, like, I think in the beginning of the movie, it shows you like, a, like, a, like a preview of the movie and like other movies. And I saw him where, with that Hitler mace, and I was like, "Oh, that's what I want to see!" Like, I need to wait for this. This is so fucking stupid. And I was actually pretty happy to see him whip out that dumb shit. I thought it was a mace, but you're right. Like, he it was more like a scepter, like almost like a cane or something. Yeah, Rod. I didn't notice that and, it had like a spiked end at the on the other side yeah. of it i think that i don't yeah, even think yeah. it did have that in the beginning of the movie it's like just showed up no. the fucking end. it was like it how rubbery shit it was too <laughs> yeah to like that was the part that kills murray honestly uh, man it was, i guess it's probably a dildo somebody bought and they just like fucking yeah. like, like shaped it to look like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe um let's see uh so what do you give your trauma rating roland my trauma rating for this so far would i mean comparing it to all the other movies i'd probably fuck like it would be it would be it would be better for me like if i could actually think to remember like what my other ratings were for the other fucking ones we watched but um because like part of me wants to give this a four uh just because like it's it's got a lot of content like there's a lot of fucking shit in this movie that you can like just point out you know all the fucking trauma uh references to like other movies or just like stupid products um like the fucked up dream sequences uh <laughs> you know like uh, the death scenes were great uh like they fucking found a way to put two explosions in this no three explosions into this movie you know the fucking the exploding the car boat, explosion the car explosion and then <laughs> fucking uh cappy himself or whatever yeah he yeah. exploded too yeah um um but then like again like this i this movie was they probably could have trimmed it down by at least 30 or 40 minutes like this i would was, say most it, of that was probably sex <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> that they they could have really knocked that down a bit um not that i didn't well no i didn't really give a fuck about any of it uh any of the uh the banger rangage um <laughs> the banger rangage uh Roland quote t-shirt coming your way guys yeah anyway but uh i i think i just really appreciated how much you know like nuance <laughs> was was packed into this fucking movie like there's just a lot of 
I might actually watch this again, but I th- I think I want to have some alcohol for it. Yeah, uh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and just like just to see what kind of like all right now um, because watching it, uh, you know, every time I I would I would see a like they would go from scene to scene. But for the most part, I was always like looking at the stage and the sets, and, like t- just around them. Like they're fucking talking, you know, and it's like they when they when they fucking start going, how art thou? Is when like I just kind of shut out the voices and started looking around to see like what the fuck <laughs> like do they have any more CD ROMs of uh, <laughs> porno CD ROMs? Yeah. Right. Oh well, of of subhumanoid or whatever the fuck. Oh, like, and they're talking when they're at the the tattoo parlor and talking about y'all want to come out yeah. of my house later and check out sub subhumanoid CD-ROM, meltdown or something like that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, do, yeah. Do people there you fucking go. do that? Like, um, you know, and I was like, like nobody says 90s. that. Nobody speaks that way. Like, well, whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I remember seeing ROMs like is he mean a DVD like oh man no nope. <laughs> well I mean at that time uh, there weren't really yeah. DVDs no nah, those no, like CD ROMs no. really yeah, yeah everybody was using their computers to watch and watch it and do stuff um but yeah I think I would actually stick with a four on this uh, four out of five for Tromo oh yeah only because like like all all the there was a I guess a fair amount of plot in this. Uh, surprising, surprising. Well, it's written by really some stupid. by someone who's made some really good movies since. Mm. You know I, mean, I mean, it's it's, it's nothing like fucking br- mind melting or whatever the fuck, <laughs> but it was still kind of like. Well, it, like, it okay, is, but like, in a different way. I think uh, right. <laughs> I, if I'm gonna go through just a little bit of some of the movies I've seen by James Gunn, I mean, Slither was one of them which I enjoyed. He did I, Slither. I think he did the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Which oh, I enjoyed, okay. and I don't think he directed. I think he wrote the the screenplay for that. Um, and then, of course, you got fucking Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Like, what more do you need? Uh, yeah, the screenplay of Dawn of the Dead was uh, was done by James Gunn. Yeah, man, that, I love that fucking remake. You know, I mean, I'm not too much of a remake person necessarily, but that one was one that I did enjoy a lot. But uh, I'm trying to think of the one I fucking didn't like, and I think it was was it Land of the Dead, where like the fucking zombies get. Uh, they're in like the middle of the city and like the that's zombies. Not, but that's yeah, not a remake. Yeah. That's just a continuation of George Romero's mm-hmm. shit. But I, I mean, I mean, re- I mean, I, I, mean I don't want to blaspheme George Romero's good name here. But I mean, a lot of the movies he made later gonna, on in his life weren't very good. You know. Well, yeah, cause what, wasn't that the last one he made in the zombie? Like he actually made. No, zombie. he did like um, he did one like a found footage um, zombie movie. Which one? Oh no! And it was um, part of the. It was part of the the universe the, of the uh, continuing like, universe. Eight. What was the last one? Because it was Night of, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead, then Land of the Dead, mm-hmm. and then there was I I don't remember the last one, but I never saw it though because I heard it was terrible. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, shit, what the hell's it called? Um, like, did you ever uh, see the movie Night Survi- Riders? Survival of the Dead. Something survival of the Dead. Survival. That's what it was. Survival of the Dead. I, I heard I that was that. terrible. I didn't watch that. Um. Uh. Before we continue about other movies, let me just give my quick rating. Um, as a normal movie, I'm going to give this uh, middle of the road three because I did enjoy it. Again, like Roland, you touched on pretty much all of that stuff. Characters are pretty interesting. Uh, at least like some of the side characters. Uh, or trauma. Ro- tr- ro- tr- yeah, for trauma. But I mean, Ro- Romeo or Tromeo did kind of annoy me with his ex- facial expressions and shit. Diary of the Dead. Yeah. Diary yeah. of the Dead. That's what I, it was. Yeah. I, I, thought, uh, I thought Tromeo reminded me of like like a like <laughs> like like a young Tommy Wiseau trying to fucking ham it up for whatever the fuck. <laughs> he's, he's really trying to act, guys. He wants you to take this seriously, okay? <laughs> uh, speaking of the trauma rating, I'm going to give this a good 4.5. I think I think this is probably the highest I've given, but the I second so. highest is probably uh Redneck Zombies. Really? I think so, yeah, because I, I, I fucking love Redneck Zombies, man. Like, that movie's oh, so dude. fucking like, funny. Honestly, man. I really don't remember anything about it much at this point. About Redneck Zombies? We should, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, you, you talk like me, really most, once, most you know? what I remember, I, I'd have to say, see, the reason why I was kind of, like, uh, having difficulty giving this a four for trauma was because uh, Class of Newcomb High was the one that made me laugh my ass off. Like, just Oh, yeah, so, but that's so, just so funny, so too, shit, yeah. Bro. And like that's where I was kind of like, all right, do I want to give this one a higher rating? I think I did. Well, I mean, they all have their own like 
Right. Cool char- characteristics and quirks to them. Uh, but, I mean, I like this one because, uh, first of all, it's, it was probably a lot, a lot longer than most of any of the trauma movies that we have seen in the past. And there was yeah, a lot of shit just jammed so. in there, you know? Considering um, it was their cheapest, uh, their cheapest uh, movie, right? It was, what did well, you guys say? It was like 300, Redneck 300 Zombies wasn't necessarily this made by trauma. This is their cheapest movie? movie? Really? Is it? I, I think, think so. so. Hold on. Let no me... way it was this cheapest movie, man. Hold on, communist. Surf, Nazis me. must die. Are you fucking that kidding me? That one's probably. That's, that cheapest. was cheap Hold fucking on. fucking ass movie, man. Yeah, that movie was um, made in the year I was born, man. What? Surf, yeah. Nazis must die? Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that you missed that one. <laughs> one of the least. It's one of the least expensive films in trauma history. It's 350 grand. Well, I think you say that uh, one of the least expensive films in movie history. <laughs> Are you sure? I think this was. He said this was the last one for the year, right? On the trauma. No, no, no. We still oh. have another one. Okay. I think you like Sergeant Kabuki Man. To be honest with you, you, you we like we Don. the last movie that we're gonna do for this year in the trauma entertainment field is the well-known one, Toxic Avenger. Oh yeah. Oh, you didn't want to save that for uh, next year, or whatever the fuck. No, no, that's the very end. That's the very end they, of this uh, year. You know, it's funny. Next year, trauma, we're starting a whole different kind of theme and stuff like that. Trauma right. tried to get serious on some movies. There's one I haven't seen. I want to check it out. It's called Combat Shock, and it's like kind of a play on PTSD stuff or whatever. But um, it actually has a 6.4 on IMDb and a 40 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, I mean, we're going to talk about those <laughs> ratings real movie. quick. Let me uh, just go quickly here. Um, as far as Rotten Tomatoes is concerned, it does not have a critics consensus for Tromeo and Juliet. The audience score is a 62%. Uh, as far as the actual, I guess, IMDb rating, this is that is actually at a 6.1. On what, IMDb? That's IMDb, yeah. 62% okay. on Rotten Tomatoes, but that is the audience score. There is no critics consensus score on that. So it's not really rated uh, rotten or not. Well, I was just going to tell you on this, this combat shock movie I was telling you about, uh, apparently they have, I guess they have a, like a separate collection from trauma and they have, it's called the Tro masterpiece collection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, we should tackle those at some yeah. point. Tro masterpiece. That's funny. So I was looking here that Ron Jeremy is apparently uncredited in this movie. Really? Yeah, he played at Trumbaville, like citizen. He was a bum or something like that. One of the scenes, oh, and they shit. cut him out. Mm. Wow! Oh, they cut him out. Oh, okay. he probably, uh, yeah, he probably wanted money. <laughs> <laughs> we gave it all yeah, uh, to Lemmy. We can't really uh, afford you. Yeah, Lemmy's put on the show after this, so yeah. we can't really pay you, dude. They they spent Unless you're gonna fucking... like, you know fuck somebody or something. We can... <laughs> right? <laughs> maybe that was maybe they that was his body <laughs> double when they fucking lifted the. <laughs> <laughs> the dress and that was his monster dong that they painted all gray and shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I guess we can bring this to an end unless y'all have anything else to add about Tromeo and Juliet. Actually, Roland, I'm really surprised because I thought you were probably going to hate this movie, but it's rather oh, enjoyable Oh, I movie. did. I, I actually started off hating it like very much. <laughs> <clears throat> very, very much because it was like, yeah, I, I didn't want to. I really didn't want to watch it. I was I, like, the second I I heard about the fucking the title, I was like, no, this is gonna be fucking dumb. And they're gonna be hamming all this shit out for Shakespeare. Fuck, like, why do I want to see this? I don't. But then, like, um, now that it's over, now that I've seen it, I can like actually part of me kind of appreciates you know some of the I guess time that th- or the things that went into this shit fest. Um, but but no, not. I guess it's those. Are, it's more of like like hate. Is there like a phrase for like angry appreciation or, or like spiteful or a grudging <laughs> appreciation? Begrudgation. Um, begrudgingly appreciate. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. There you go. Begrudgation. Uh, begrudgation. Yeah, spiteful- it's, it's not spite- spitefulation. It's, <laughs> it's it's not that I like this film. I don't. Ray, but is like that going to be another uh, the other one. Yeah, t-shirt? Yeah, another T-shirt. Um, yeah, spiteful. Well, I would say maybe sardonic, but I don't know if uh, <laughs> that's more like. Well, sort of. Well, sardonic definition: grimly mocking or cynical. So perhaps right. maybe. But. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I, I didn't. I, I could definitely talk more shit about this, <laughs> but um, I, 
like yeah like no there are actually some parts of this that i was i was like i, I actually kind of laughed uh you know i didn't want to but i did uh well if i if i may i just want to throw in a little like piece of information here um it's it's the movie's called fucking Tromeo and Juliet and basically uh it's a combination of Romeo and Troma. Yeah. And Bryce, could you read me what that word says? I don't really know what that's Portmanteau. That's. Portmanteau. Mm. And it's a combination of oh, it's a yeah, yeah. blending of a ling- linguistic blend of words in which parts of multiple words or their phones or their sounds are combined into a new word like smog or is a blending of like smoke and fog. Mm-hmm. This is Tromeo. And I'm going to say this, this wasn't intentional. It's kind of like our MoQuest Studios. I blended two words, made up my own fucking word for the MoQuest. Are you, you going to reveal it? <coughs> Bastard words words it. On this yeah, it's, it's, it's basically uh, a mock quest. Oh. Making fun of the quest that we are on. Most, I guess, most people take this a little bit more seriously, yeah. but uh, basically, it was quest a combination of, of uh, this quest of life. Uh, of, uh, Poking fun at a quest that you're on, or mocking the quest. So that's what MoQuest is, a combination of. Gotcha. I always wondered about that. How you got the word? I just well, because I, I couldn't I couldn't take anything that we we're ass. doing seriously, right? With you can't take hands. anything you're doing seriously. I go look at it. Look look, no. look who I'm uh, partnering with to, <laughs> to do this not. stuff. Um, the Jay- only reason Jamie I doesn't I can take do any anything seriously, right, Jamie? Because like seriously. I just pictured Jamie in the back screaming, Pod Mike. <laughs> he's, he, Roland said he, all he pictures he's doing is uh, screaming in the background saying, Pod Mike. <laughs> there you go. Got to laugh out of him. <laughs> all right. Um, anything else to add, guys, before we draw uh, this episode to a close? I think we should watch this again, Mystery Science Theater style with alcohol. That's what I well, want to do. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. Right that would probably be be a lot of but i mean like a lot of alcohol fuck <laughs> like we so all have our, we all have our own bottle of whiskey also you want to do like a this, you know? mystery science theater type thing yeah well, that's kind of what we did with um that's kind of what zombies. we did with redneck zombies yeah, yeah. we yeah, did with a few well, like here and there like but um, ideally we want to be in the same room <clears throat> and we have a place yeah. to sleep <laughs> i would definitely like to throw this out maybe like when daniel's down for a week is if, if we can all get together like this would probably be something cool another one to Fart, fart through. Right on. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Okay. Again, uh, I want to thank. Um, These nuts. Well, <laughs> I just do that after this. Hold on. Okay. Uh, follow <laughs> us on uh, Patreon <laughs> at MoQuest Studios, and keep an eye out for any of our extra episodes coming out. Uh, we may do yeah, a mystery all... science theater type of thing. Whenever we are all together in the same room, we'll drink uh, an insane amount of alcohol, pass out a while watching of one Everclear of these. Clear for each one. Each <laughs> yeah, one. everyone has a bottle of Everclear <laughs> and a gallon of Hawaiian Punch. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you just mix it together and just drink it down. Um, follow us on all the social medias on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're pretty much more active on Instagram. But uh, follow us on Twitter. We do a few posts every now and then. And... Uh, well, yeah. Listen to our new podcast, Valley Strange. Uh, oh, it yeah. is out on any, all streaming any platforms word on currently. The next one coming out? Um, has not been decided, but we will reveal that soon. And we'll reveal it on the social media, so like keep an eye out for that. Uh, listen to our other podcasts on MoQuest Studios, Anatomy and Mixtape. And yeah. Fat Food for Fat People. We've actually been coming out with a lot of those for the past two months. And we should have more podcasts coming your way pretty soon. Mm. Uh, some special episodes, all that kind of jazz. And again, I want to thank uh, Bryce for his grand return as our Trash Cinema Connoisseur. Thank you, thank you. And Roland as our... Trash Cinema Bystander mm-hmm. slash Casualty. Victim. Victim <laughs> is more the word. And yeah. I am your host, Ray, your trash cinema enthusiast. Ah. Mm. So I guess uh, we'll be seeing you next Maybe time. Maybe fan, tra- fan, fanboy would be a better trash movie for you. victimizer. Victimizer, yeah, like force <laughs> yeah, people, you know, force people to watch this that, shit. Like, <laughs> I was about to say, like, that's exactly what I was going to say. Victimizer, <laughs> that's cool. Sure, I, I, I'll, I'll make people watch this shit. 
Of course people mm, are. Of course maybe I don't a know. trash movie offender. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, if I, I, you could see some of my, uh, Trash movie Trash movie my, <laughs> there you go. my, uh, there student films, uh, on YouTube and see how terrible those are. So Ooh, Trash Movie see. Molester. Trash there you movie go. Molester. Mm-hmm. It's gotta have Trash some Movie ring, Molester, you know? it's rapist, enthusiast, tongue. uh, victimizer, <laughs> offender. I don't know. Just think of any word you can think of. Yeah. All, right. All right. We'll see you next time. Fanboy. See ya. See ya. Bye.